Yeah, how's it going? Looks like the miners open pretty down. <clears throat> way down. We closed above 20 yesterday. Now it's all the way down to 1920. It sucks. It's like it's been trading after hours. See if we can't find a turn on this before the first hour. It's got a whole 19. Just checking out oil on the open. Figure something what was going on. A lot of hype about the oil price. <clears throat> A higher low two bar pattern there. Bearish retracement back into resistance on the one minute. Oversold coming out. V bottoms don't work. I'll wait for the uh, V bottom uh, opposing point. Find trend. See if we can't hold a 19. Gold's down 10 bucks, almost 11. Silver's below 17 again. Gold's trying to hold 13. Back and forth, back and forth. Another higher low. Here comes the eight. We gotta get back above the eight. Start her off. Takes me so many clicks to get through here. What's up, Slogo? Sorry, I didn't have my chat open a minute ago. Back above the eight, a little thrust. Stay above previous lows into next previous low, see if we can't bust out of here real quick. Right over the 34. Into the 13, maybe back into the eight. Got to hold support. Watch for previous high breaks here. Oh, boom. Nominal egg. What's going on, man? <laughs> Here's a previous high break on Chang'e. So waiting for that opposing point. <sighs> oh, 
I thought oil was going to open up a bit bigger than this, a little bit of hype. See what we got going on. We got 30 day volume average already breaking on SRCI on its highs. I got nothing on it though. See if I can't see if I can't find a was it S R C I. Meritrade sucks. SRCI, I got a previous high breaks, old all time high breaks on this bad boy. It's on its highs now. SRCI already average. Already have its excuse me, already at its average trading volume. 30 day trading volume. Watch that bad boy. That's a reverse head and shoulders. Watch for the previous high breaks. Boom time on that one. It's fresh. There's my opposing point. Watch for previous high breaks on JNUG. What's up, Jasper? Boom, boom. There she is. Got to get it back above 20. Got knocked down pretty good. SRCI, look at that um, previous side breaks. That's a nice one. I thought oil would be doing better this morning. Zion oil still waiting for a break. Let's get out of here. Demi Tassi, I don't know that one. I mean, a cup and handle on the right shoulder. Boom time on JNUG for the win. Sorry, let me take care of all my crap. Get overzealous sometimes. Stay above previous highs. Bullish retracement, if you didn't buy the break, buy the support. Let's go to medical. Oh, see, I know Italian. I told you. It's still small cup and handle, Italian style. <laughs> Watch that one, Jasper. It looks great. It's already got average volume. So, hi, Yasmin. Good morning. Yeah, Q 
keep buying that physical silver because one day I've been neglecting my physical silver lately. I'm usually pretty good, but I'm uh, trying to get as much money in the cryptos as possible right now. So just a little, just a little uh, deviation, a little detour from the plan. I'm usually good for a monthly buy on silver, but silver is my favorite, though. There's a biomedical scan. God, Meritrade blows. Can't get nothing on anything from these people. I got an average breakout, volume breakout on TNDM. Diabetics, something. Um. 902 on SRCI. Previous high breaks, right over nine o'clock. Not there yet. So keep your, um, keep your losses short there. Could get a little hectic here. <laughs> little whipsawy. Here's my opposing point on JNUG. Back to the eight. Trying to find trend. Um, TNDM, TNDM. TNDM weekly. It's got a volume breakout already for the morning. Coming off weekly bottom. Into resistance back in the support. So watch that one. Average breakout. Got a bunch of news on crude. Oh yeah, there we go. Hitting 60 now. It's gonna run for a while. And that's a reverse head and shoulders. Is exactly what a reverse head and shoulders should do. Gold's holding 13. Got a double bottom on gold weekly. It's a slight higher higher low. Weekly double bottom on silver as well. Hopefully we can hold here. We need to get back above 1725. It is a nice reverse head and shoulders, Yasmin. So I would definitely be buying on this right shoulder. But I'm not a professional, so. <laughs> AG. dollar up. So I guess the news is either we want a strong dollar or we want higher gas prices. And the news is like, you got to choose. <laughs> it's 
says, why can't I have strong gold? You know, Selvi, I think it was coming off the bottom of the cup and handle, wasn't it? The same reverse head and shoulders. It's very volatile on that right shoulder, right? It could go all the way down into the previous break. You can see the high and the low area over here. So they'll probably stretch it. But right now it looks like an inverted hammer. Inverted hammer so far on the week. Daily. It's got a lot of... Got a lot of work to do on the daily. You can see it's below the 34. It's got to get above the 834 there. I'm losing my traction on JNUG. There you go. Previous high breaks coming on JNUG. Building, building, building. So it looks good. Just uh, watch that right shoulder for the sling back. I'm too distracted. You know, double top on JNUG, make sure we hold support. A double bottom higher low on this five star senior living bios. Miners are down, so that's why I'm not concentrating on them. But a bunch of news on oil and nothing there. Looks like bio is still selling drugs somewhere. The medicals got a higher low. Looking for volume breakouts, O-G-E-N. I think we mentioned this a couple days ago. Looks like CDTX is changing trend on the weekly. Very nice. Just cherry picking, choosing the ones that are on their highs. Wait for JNUG to break previous highs. It's a nice bullish retracement on this PULM. Look for a previous high break on the monthly. I'm going to double top on SRCI now. Got to take it out. It is a reverse head and shoulders waiting for that top. Get a nice little volume break on nine. That looks a great pattern. It's very, it's only, uh, 
It's born on date was in March last year. Last year of this year. Uh, NAK got knocked back pretty good. Back at support, it's got a hold. Supposed to break that too, didn't. Comes a previous high break with a little volume kick. J Nug. I'm going to triple top now if it doesn't break. It's got to take it out. There it goes. Now I got support. Close above the previous highs. And then the kick. Coming, uh, coming back in for support. Let's see what happens here. Could be a head fake. Trying to get above 20 again. A two by reversal on the hourly, so still needs to get above the eight and previous working, trying to get into previous highs. Previous highs on the hourly is 19.65, so let's stay above there. Otherwise, it's two by reversal on the hourly. So it'll bounce off the eight. It's got a hold up here. It's got to get back above previous highs. A little head fake. A little stair step into support. That's nice. It's got a hold.
chain lug's in a pattern. I'm gonna break outside the pattern. Let's do it. Higher highs, higher lows. It's in a little pinch there. It's gotta make a decision up or down here in a second. One minute chart. See if I can't hold the 13. Look guys. Stay above the eight. Watching previous high breaks on this SRNE. <clears throat> Looks like J Nug's coming back in. Last lines of support at the 13. Closing below the 8 doesn't feel good. Closing below the 13 doesn't feel good either. Watch for the right shoulder to come back in. SRCR above nine again. See if we can't get a nice little break out of that. It's already got a volume breakout. It's only um, born on date last last March, so it's a little fresh behind the ears here, a little wet. You can see the monthly previous high breaks. SRC. That's nice. These are coming off my scans. So easy deasy. Looks like chain nug hit resistance. Going to do a little back and forth, back and forth on the 15 minute chart, looks like. Nice two bar pattern off the 15 minute into resistance, back into support. Let's see if we can break resistance in a couple. And a few candles on the 15 minute, maybe 45 an hour. From now. And some peas still holding support. Dow Jones still high as ever. As that broke support, here comes Chain Nug for the win. Bounce off the support, very nice. For a previous high break.
Trillium Therapeutics. Looks like a previous high break would be very nice on this one. <coughs> T-R-I-L. Oh, JNUG. Looks like it didn't work. Had a lower high. Bearish retracing now. Looking for that A crossing over the 13. Looks like cost for a break. Hornbeck Offshore Services. Dawson mentioned that a few days ago. SRCI, nice, nice. Stay above previous highs, SRCI. It's a nice reverse head and shoulders breakout. A little neckline snap the neck kind of situation. It's got way more than average volume. So looking for a breakout here, SRCI. Stay above nine, it looks like. Previous highs on that peak was very close here. It's like 909. Emotional spot nine. Looking for volume. I'm gonna raise the bid. Very nice. A little cherry picking going on. Too bad I can't get it on my Medved Trader. Meritrade's feed is very iffy. Actually, there's a 60 minute spike high at 9.30. Stay above nine. 9.40. That's an intraday spike.
Uh, actually, uh, what the hell? J nut for the bounce right off the thirty four. Still working. Looks like a little rejection on Jaina. It's going to have to do a lot more work, I guess. <clears throat> SRCI above previous highs. Now it's moving. SRCI for the win. Great volume. Average volume was 35,000, 30, 30 day volume. It's upwards to 600 now. Nice reverse head and shoulders breakout. Giddy up. J nut got rejected. Previous low breaks. It's got a lot of work to do. Below the 34 again. Silver under 17 doesn't feel good, but that's that right shoulder on the reverse head and shoulders. So. PKD, well, poked its head up. It's got good volume. It's got half the average volume so far. Oil is going to be kicking for a while, so let's keep a keep a handle on this. Looks like oil. Something happened. The oil just recent. Something just kicked in. SRCI on its highs. SRCI for the win. 
little pattern break. Some weekly pattern break too. Previous high break on the monthlies, it's all time highs now. PKT, CRR, we mentioned that a few weeks ago, so in a previous break. <laughs> Oil's kicking. Fresh meat. Watch for the retracements on SRCI if you didn't pick it up on the break. Looking for volume. TGA is a half its average volume. SRCI is the best one for volume today. PKD is looking good. Oh, look at that J curve on the weekly. PKD. You get that, that J curve. Tight, 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 pop. Could be good for 20, 20 points. Looks, looks nice. Resistance at 150. We got previous lows right here at 133. So, my opinion is previous the first previous low always breaks. So I'll have to move that up into the next previous low, which is right at the 34. Imagine that. I'm gonna stand. I can't get any. See that pattern break on AXAS, <clears throat> very nice, a couple weeks ago, right outside that pattern. It's very tight in there. Look how tight that is. Little J curve pop. TGA, two bar pattern coming off the bottom. Silver slipping. Here comes JNUG off the bottom here. Oversold situation coming out of it.
stay above previous highs now, above the 8, into the 13, back into the 8. It's a struggle. Got to get above the 34. Looks like the measured move is in on silver. Let's see if we can't get a turn. 60 minute measured, measured move. A little hammer forming. No, that's not a hammer, excuse me. Fifteen minute chart. We got two bar reversal into the thirty four back into support. We got a hold. Got to. Higher low, J Nug will cross the 30, 13. Let's see if we can't get a pop here. Coming out of oversold, higher low on the indicator. Little volume doesn't hurt. Looks like PKD is for the win, but SRCI, I think it'll pull out and pull ahead at the end of the game here. It's coming back for a bullish retracement on SRCI. Make sure we hold nine.
TGB is hanging on by a thread there. Coming back into support on that monthly. Holding support. A little higher low. Doesn't feel good on that breakdown, Maria. But it is holding a higher low. J Nook for the win across the 34. See if we can't get above 20 here shortly. A little thrust. Once it breaks down, it always has a lot of work to do to get back above. Volume cures all ailments. But um, I don't see any volume today on it. It's coming out of oversold, so well, it's not out of oversold. It's still in oversold territory. Nothing wrong with a little consolidation above previous highs, but it's hanging on a thread, right? It's always hanging on a thread. JNUG on the one minute, you can construe this as a reverse head and shoulders and that right shoulder just sling back on us. Getting above previous highs is that neckline break. Back in the support, over the 34, back in the support for an inverted hammer possibly on the one minute. Little inverted hammer on the one minute. Needs to confirm on the upside though. No confirmation, that is the falling star. Let it come back in a little bit. Oh, the head fakes, mm-hmm. No confirmation on falling star or inverted hammer yet. Oh, there's the inver. Yep, that's the falling star there. Let it come back in, let it rest a little bit, and a nice little thrust into resistance. Take out that inverted hammer on the upside, it'll be golden. Boom, boom. Previous breaks. Stay above previous highs there, Maria. Could use some more volume too. j -Nug for the win. Into resistance back in the support for a bullish retracement. Let's see if we can't crack that neck. 
on some elaborate reverse head and shoulders off the bottom here. Left shoulder head, right shoulder sling back. There she goes. Break out that uh, inverted hammer on the upside. Break that chicken's neck. Boom. Never neglect the inverted hammer. <laughs> Hess on a monthly Maria looks awesome. Previous high breaks. Coming off a bottom pattern, confirming if we can crack this. Very nice. Chain hug. Whoa. Slow down, boy. Trying to get back above 20. Let's break those previous highs again. Jane good job. Fifteen minute chart into resistance back into support, previous high breaks, boom, boom time. Previous lows is at that 20 mark. See if we can't thrust right now over the, over into previous lows. Changing trend on the 15 minute chart. Come on, Jaina, don't disappoint. I need production value. <laughs> it's our CI. Volume dropped off the map. Just coming back in, though. Some big boys on bid. Bringing it down. Wonder if I can get level two on this. I get level two, but I can't get any charts off of it. Thanks, Meritrade. It's not very deep though, I can't see what's going on, really. Someone's holding it back, someone's on the bid. Looks like Arkex. J 
Chainuk for the crack. Boom time. Big boy's got to see that coming right there. Little 15 minute chart breakout. Barrel gas on the ties. PKD off the ties. It looks good on that weekly chart, though. Little J curve. Out of oversold situation for a while. And then pop. It's good for a good 20 points, it looks like. 25 points. But my bet's on SRCI for the rest of the day. <clears throat> Let it come back in and support where the break was. Make sure you hold nine. Watch for the head fakes below nine, back above nine. Those are uh, popular. Feral gas off a weekly chart. Yeah, I got to run soon too. Thanks for stopping in, Maria. I want to get uh, J Nug across 20 and see what we can do with this vet big boy here. Watch for feral gas in a little little volume across the 34. Looks like it's been building for a few weeks now. Weekly chart on S or CRR. I mentioned that a few weeks ago for the pattern break there. Off the bottom, looks like OPTT just poked its head up. Watch for previous high breaks on that. Oversold situation coming out here on the weekly chart. So it looks uh, like a higher low off the indicator. So carry momentum, higher lows. Carry mo momentum all the way up into the overbought situation. Could be a winner. Watch for the previous high breaks though. Don't buy off the uh, indicators. from that bottom on the weekly. Could be a nice little runner on that one. OPTT. Fifteen minute chart SRCI let it come back in. We got a little overextended from the break. Jaina coming back in as well.
I think I'm going to cut it short here. Watch June note for previous high breaks on a 15 minute chart. It looks like just a little head fake. That 34 is always a good line of resistance. So try to get above there. Need to close above 20. Get this thing back positive. It's down still 46 cents. Dollar broke the 34 for the first time in a while on the daily chart. So we might get a stronger dollar here. Doesn't fare well for gold, I don't think, but we'll see. SPX off of support. It's in a bearish retracement now on a daily. It's holding previous highs, so watch for that. A little dip below previous highs. Two bar reversal on the daily for the Dow. NASDAQ still working that triple top. Still holding trend though. It's very slight. Gold still holding 13, but it doesn't, uh, it's got rejected by the eight this morning. Doesn't feel good. Silver daily, it's crossed the eights crossing over the 34, so we might get some cheaper prices. But it is consolidating pretty nice right underneath the 34. Make sure we hold. Support has to hold. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, where is the Bitcoin? There she is. <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> Higher lows. Over the 8 and into the 13, back into the 8 for sort of support, back over the 13. See if we can't get over. I'd like to get it above the previous high here, 44 and a half. Because that's a head and shoulders top there. P-R-E-L-F, P-R-E-L-F, let that, that, let that thing come back in. A real steep climb there. Could go sideways for a while until support finds us. But that's it for me. I don't see anything else going on right now. I mean, I'm sure there is, but... My bet's on SRCI after they uh, come back in. Bullish retracement. I think we went all over everything I've, everything that's uh, been cherry picked all morning. Watch for volume. I'm gonna cut it short. Thanks for everybody coming in, stopping in, saying hello. I appreciate every one of you. But um, it's usually the first hour you make your money, so. I'll catch you on the flip side. See you tomorrow morning.